Hey guys, it's Shadow. I'm so excited to be playing the Return of Rome campaigns, and let's begin with Trajan. My grandfather once told me of the age of Augustus, the emperor who found Rome a city of brick and left it one of marble. Guided by his virtue and prudence, Augustus's empire reached new bounds a vast constellation of cities spanning the Mediterranean and beyond. Its prosperity and happiness were the envy of an otherwise bitter, cruel world. Seven decades, ten emperors and countless civil wars later, that golden age is a distant memory. Marred by corruption, the constellation that once lit the world is now little more than a faint and fraudulent zodiac. Yet there are those among us who still believe in Rome. In my youth, I followed my father's and grandfather's footsteps into the legions. Twenty years later, I am Marcus Ulpius Trianus, commander of the Seventh Legion, and a veteran of Emperor Domitian's northern wars. The aristocrats of the Senate despise Domitian for his unwillingness to bend to their whims, but he treats his legions well. Now, he calls on us to quash the rebellion of one Saturninus, a provincial governor styling himself emperor. A lifelong military man, I know all too well that soldiers' blood is the currency of rich men's power plays. But when Rome calls, I must go. I will march north to see that this civil war ends before it has even begun. All right, so we are trying to get the achievement here, which means I have to try and beat them in about 10 minutes. Treachery and madness threaten Rome. Can I count on you to save her treasure? La, 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 la. Let's try and find some gold. These lands are awash with rebel scum. Clean them out and rally the nearby legions to crush this traitor. Right. So, got things to go and collect. Always treated us well. We will not abandon him now. All right, so let's go ahead with the scout. The rest of these are going to start getting ready to Many attack. Thanks, that blue base the down there. We so weird having a 50 population limit. and march on the double now we're gonna send this on a journey to go get the other well done i see that you are a man to be counted upon treasure uh could you with this how much is the gold i don't need another one that'll increase the attack of all my units <laughs> I always forget how slow hot flights are until I'm gonna use them. I'm not entirely sure which buildings need to be destroyed. I know that in most AoE2 campaigns, just kill the town centers and. All those other things, the castles, are usually good. There's gonna be a couple of axemen before I can begin getting a little bit more army. Alright, let's go deal with that. These forces behind me, and you, of course. We shall be invincible, Trajan. Kindly send those rebels' heads my way. 
I shall use them to decorate my camp. One thing I find very frustrating about A1 is that the units don't really retarget on their own volition. Same way that they do in AOE 2. And it's carried over to Return of War and Return. much damage, I just fight back a lot. That should just like, let me through, okay. Take that. Hey, how much are they glitching out? They'll be fine. What are they doing? Got five minutes. Uh, oh, two minutes. Got five for some reason. <laughs> Definitely not five. For them. See if that was enough to in the mission. Oh. One minute to see if this is gonna work. Hopefully that's enough. Yes! Saturninus will be forced to surrender. Oh no, one minute gets them. <laughs> we Romans say that fortune favors the bold, but how does it decide between two valiant men? The question puzzled me as my men dragged Saturninus before our merciless emperor. I wonder what his last thoughts were. Did he regret not anticipating that my legions would reach the front in time? Did he curse fortune for the unprecedented January thaw that prevented his German allies from crossing the Rhine? It matters not. The answer died with him. But our Emperor's anger endured. From the day of his coronation, Domitian had been a firm and bold ruler. But the Senate despised this friend of the legionary and the commoner. When Domitian's latent paranoia began to consume him, his wrath engulfed the Empire like a raging wildfire. Countless arrests followed in the wake of the war. Senators who had opposed him were executed like common criminals. When the court could bear it no more, the Emperor was assassinated. Domitian's successor was a good man but a poor ruler. 
Nevertheless, he shared my loyalty to Rome and sought to reverse the damage that Domitian's folly had done. With no sons to pass the mantle to, Emperor Nerva named me as his heir before striding on into the afterlife after two short years on the throne. The immense honor of steering the might of Rome is matched only by the weight of its responsibility. I am a general, not a senator. My mind is built for the straightforwardness of the battlefield, not the intricacies of politics. I can and I must learn to be a politician, but in the meanwhile, I should play to my strengths. The divided Roman people need a common enemy, and I will give them that. North of the Danube lies Dacia, a barbarous kingdom, but one also rich in gold and silver. Its wily king, Decabalus, once played Domitian for a fool, negotiating an unfavorable treaty that tarnished Roman imperial repute. My loyal cousin, Hadrian, will join me on this campaign and learn from my example. I will you take vengeance on a haughty foe, and enrich our struggling economy all in one fell swoop. Alright, so this is kind of like a conquer and get resources in the scenario. I in the east, but you must rob the enemy's will to fight before I am overwhelmed. Keep our army supplied with loot. And my technicians will improve our weapon. The wolves don't seem to aggro your units here. I guess they would aggro villagers still. Look out! A Dacian ambush! Oh. Wow. <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. I'm gonna use my scout to get a bit of scouting in as well. One last is an extra to attack for all my units. Oh, okay, that's share. a lot of resources. We will put it towards the war effort. I'm guessing there's actually not that many resources. Not that many buildings to destroy. A lot of resources to get from one freezing. <laughs> really need the uh, PS armor as well, please. There we go. Armor. Can use these buildings to train more soldiers. Oh, it's gonna take forever to actually train. I love this too. But I have to wait because I don't actually have enough units currently. This is going to be a game of patience. Luckily Roman infantry is quite amazing. What if I can like try and lure a couple of units in at a time. Do you follow me? Take the little outpost down. Not that there's that much army. Domitian tried to defeat me once before. Let us see if you are up to task. Alright, let's go. One of these. Oh. 
Alright. Coming over here. It looks like there's a rain for the stable. We will put it towards the war effort. Oh, the Roman archers are very lackluster, so we probably won't make too many of those. Kinda crazy how many units cavalry go into this game. There's no spear. Them. Buildings to train more soldiers. Ooh. What's the way full of fishing ship? Have extra food. These ships we can send men to assist our allies. That'll be fine, right? Oh. All right. Keep all the people. That's the wrong hotkey. I used to uh, the militia line being on you, but here we don't want acts when we want all the big cavalry for that. Because these stone throwers have ridiculous boss radius. They also do quite a bit of damage as well. I have a shame that I can build chariots but not chariot archers. I mean, to be fair, I don't remember ever hearing about Roman chariot archers built. Okay, so hoplites are going to be a problem now. Normally, we'll use range units against them. But there's a lot more hot flights. I guess we'll just make our own ones for the academy that we're about to get. Did we only want four? Please. That's really handy. Where is the government center though? Ah, here it is. I need food. I always forget that's a thing. Make some like karambit lorries. Can I just start sending stuff though? Really don't want to have to. I have received my share of the loot. We will put it towards the war effort. So Romans are still the pillagers that they have always been. I will personally oh hew your throat with my blade. Because you can't get ballistics until uh, the Iron Age. You end up having a little thing that just hits everything. We've got logistics, so we can actually build four additional fishing ships. Oh, I can't miss that one. Train more soldiers. One of the barracks. I don't want an additional scout, but also I don't want to waste the resources on it. I don't believe that the pumps of Bowman is their strongest unit. Right Not a bad unit for them, but I think improved Bowman are that scary. That wolf seems to aggro onto my units, whereas most of them haven't so far. Really be using multiple control groups rather than just one or two. Good 
we can even make a couple extras. These little spies were doing really well. Oh, is there a dot? Oh, we can make trade. No mind. Make a couple of trade boats. Just so we can guarantee a lot of those resources. Can use these buildings to train more soldiers. I have ignored the Western Front for too long. Prepare to face my wrath, Trajan. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Um, not really anything I need from. I think there's a nobility upgrade from the government center. That'd be useful here. Yeah. Building something with a bit of extra line of sight would probably wouldn't be the worst thing considering. Okay. Uh, have max pop anyway. The downside of being really infantry heavy is that I'll get kited by all of these arch units. And then I have to retarget constantly. Oh, there's some more things there I can get as well. Jesus, that's how. The enemy is at our gates. Hold the fortress with your lives. Jesus. Cover my retreat. <laughs> Ballista towers for a sec, but they're just uh, guard towers. Holy crap, that was so many range units. I think I might have made a mistake here. I have received my share of the loot. We will put it towards the war effort. I need stone throwers. I didn't really think about them before. No more fishing ships. Also, could really do with some monks or converting the phalangites. It'd be worth just getting a few improved women just to help out a little bit. Against those, I don't really have high PS armor. Oh, damn, okay. In which case, we'll just make more fishing ships. I make two of them. Ooh, cost the upgrade. We will crush Stacia. Oh yes, okay. That is very necessary. I don't think that's the most important upgrade to get here. So you don't actually get upgrades to cavalry line, but you do for chariots. <laughs> I'd realize that would have gone slight chariots probably. As much as I love the Heliopolis, I don't think it's the right unit here. Taking up pop space that I need. I would love to get to Legionary, but that's such an expensive upgrade. Um, 
So they have alchemy. I need a way to catapult the pole. Going in there because they have the ring. You know, I think I might have underestimated the uh almost the bowman a little bit. Actually no, because I won't have long term access to wood, so this makes some barriers but not overdo it. Actually, at this point, it's more efficient to build those and buy a bit of food if needed. Monastery. That's the academy, right? No, that's the government center. So. You don't have to avoid going underneath the town centers. It should be pretty okay now. That's the academy. Oh, yes, we did it. We have captured his sister in this fortress. Now he will surely surrender. Must be very little over that side. Peace between Dacia and Rome was the story of one man's panic and another's bluff. As Decapolis saw my legions thrust into his realm and capture his sister, he must have feared that the end was near. Yet my imperious tone and stern demands during the negotiations were a mere facade. With only a few legions on the front, I knew in my heart that I lacked the strength to overthrow Decabalus today. But he 
did not. For now, the con man has been beaten at his own game. But I know better than to trust a cornered wolf. As we march home after a draining campaign, I have tasked my best architects with building a bridge across the Danube into Dacia. If the Cabalus shows even a hint of treachery, my legions will now have a direct route to his front door. Tiger does not change its stripes. No sooner was I home than the Dacian king began to plot against me, his rightful overlord. I bided my time, preparing my forces and learning the other side of rulership. Being a friend to the Senate and the people of Rome. Yet when news spread of a hostile alliance beyond the Danube, I kept a watchful eye on Dacia. And when my guards caught would-be assassins sent forth by the Dacian king, I knew to expect war at any moment. This campaign will be different from the last. The Dacians know they cannot face Hadrian and I in the field, so they will hide in their mountain fortresses, hoping for us to tire and leave. Amateurs speak of strategy and tactics, while professionals look to logistics. Dacia will not be conquered by a decisive battle. It will be conquered because Hadrian and I can sustain 14 legions and strip the Dacian forces of their supplies. The Cabalus, my false friend. Heads will roll. There's another achievement here to defeat the Dacian army, which obviously isn't the main objective. And let's go. This foul snake shall slither north of the Danube no more. Vengeance and Dacia shall be ours. Look at my economy. Oh. I'll see if that'll be quite useful. The Dacian fortress is formidable, but the aqueducts supplying it are not. Shall we parch our enemies? At that seems cruel. <laughs> I understand that it's a war game, but it does seem a little bit on the cruel around. The Cabalus' treasure is the stuff of legend. We should find it and bankrupt the wily king. I think I need more on works. I need to place a lot of bombs very quickly. Probably also a second TC, although it's only a um, top limit of 75. I don't exactly have constant production or anything to shoot. Yeah, that's to Oh no. I can. Have it at evil target. Oh. Trade actually probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Where's the market? Oh, is it all the way over here? Jeez. Uh, there's one thing I'm struggling with still with AOE. One star buildings is working out what building is what. That's all. I guess there's some stuff over here. Hmm. Might be okay. I don't know if uh, okay, Macedonians do get ballistics. You kill trade route. That's a lot of support they have access. Rocket, Abadak, 
I keep half of them attacking. Painful. I think I might get some resources from that. I might actually change the hot key on that. There are so few times where I actually want to make axe, but... Good boy. You made some forward barracks, to be honest. Probably should take the deer as well, but that's another thing to think about. Oh, we can do. We can actually send these ones and shift keys like that. Up. All right, let's see if we can do that. Oh, might need some cavalry for that. Oh, that's a, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Very, very bad idea. That's gonna set me back a little bit. I don't really want too many more villagers because I need a lot of other units. What we can maybe do is set up, I know that Romans don't get anything beyond sentry towers, but set up a little bit of a tower trap here. You saying I want to make too many more villages, but also I do sort of still want some extra ones. I also want to save up for Legionary, which is kind of expensive. Alright, that should be plenty of queued up. And I get one more stone. Four forward barracks, I'd also like a stable or two. We'll eventually need some siege as well. But I think Roman monks are that great, but it might still be useful against the heavy cavalry. Another couple. Uh, I also need to get. My army approaches from the north. Surrender now! Or meet your doom, Romans. Let me. You know, let's build our city here as well. I'm hoping that might just come from here. <laughs> As they are, it's the Dacian army. Let's build one temple. We might have some scythe chariots at some point. Fourteen hundred foods. So let's DQ a couple of these. It's take quite a while to get it in. I think it's similar to like Paladin timing. Fully upgrade. It's so cool having this many legions here though. Then behind this, I would like to start taking uh, Siege and the Slife Chariots. 
That's not exactly the most exciting beginning of the game, but sometimes you need to build a bit of economy before you can attack. I really want that. And then I will eventually want that as well, so let's start taking it. towards the point where Centurion's almost, uh, not Centurion, uh, the, <laughs> I can never remember which upgrade it's called, um, Legionnaire of course, almost in, so, we have some fun with that. The priest had one job. I don't know how Slave Chariots do against um, heavy cavalry. Oh, well, these catapults are very annoying. Some scouts to make me think of their world economy is not that great. Had a bolt thing to stop. Is that the list of tower? Oh boy. <laughs> The tower's absolutely shred. Need siege. Please get rid of a couple of sables. This is not. the heavy catapults, they'd be making me very nervous right about now. <laughs> Are they attack ground? <gasps> They're attack grounding, I didn't know the AI could do that. I played in the preview, I didn't, didn't notice that. down here so I can fit the bombs around them. Oh wow, they they stack more than houses do. Much as I do like the cheaper towers in concept, not well, having access to like any of the upgrades is kind of sad. Let us do this the old way. Single combat. You against me. Guess the aqueducts are actually the close to here. Good for you, they shall swine. Oh god. This is the one spread formation of nothing else. And the 
Priest Floods. I really need to get some Tarots. I'm not sure how much of a difference heavy pedal pop will make here anyway. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I get a free soft grade, but it would have been nice if I did. Like my economy is doing good. Seize my rich land, and all that you will do is create another ambitious governor. All right, let's go over here. Cool. I'm really gonna be using the unarmed units by accident. Flash damage is huge. There's actually no gold required. The upgrade. Well, I was initially hesitating. Almost have enough wood for it. I actually have two mount food now. I always love the cataphracts from AB1, so it's so cool to see them in their full glory here. Oh boy, here comes the bowman. Oh, don't! <laughs> I do more damage to my own units than I will to them. I uh, don't like for this properly. That's another thing I find really punishing about AoE 1 and Return of Rome is that the Vs do so much damage to your own Oh, it's <laughs> Make a bigger hole in the middle. Run to live. I must escape the city or the legions take me to Rome in chains. Wow, is that... Oh, the Centurion. Good job. I don't know. Bomb. We'll see. I don't actually remember if uh, Romans have access to Centurion. Now that took ages to do so. I'd imagine that they'd have access to at least the Phalangi upgrade. Maybe not. Centurion. I think I probably need a couple more wood there. Surprise? The wolf doesn't seem to aggro most of the time, but sometimes it just randomly aggro. Those are just poor souls on noir. Yeah, that's a big difference in terms of unit quality here. Yeah. I think I did find the aqueduct. I'm guessing it's somewhere over here. Oh, actually, maybe here. Yeah, it's there. Just my guess. Oh no! Keep Axel from queuing up. Axel. Axel are really bad at this stage of the game. Like, you only really make them with you nothing else. Oh, 
during your triumph in Rome. There we go. I'm actually loving this campaign. Gigi? To so the onlookers that had gathered, I appeared to take my success modestly. Acting like I had been there before. But inside, my heart swelled with pride as I rode through the gates of Rome in triumph. To be loved by one is gratifying enough. To be loved by thousands is indescribable. The mob roared as Decabalus' head was thrown to the dogs. Commencing over a hundred days of celebratory festivals and gladiatorial games. Senators greeted me with awe and respect that I knew for once to be genuine. Men of all ranks chanted my name. The vast Dacian treasure and its plentiful gold mines will offer riches beyond Rome's wildest dreams. My mind races with thoughts of the greatness that I... And more importantly, Rome can achieve with such wealth. Still, the age-old maxim echoes through my head. Look behind you. Remember, you are just a man. Many past emperors buckled under the weight of ruling such a large empire because they tried to micromanage it all. From them I have learned a crucial lesson. In Rome, to govern is to delegate. Fortitude, ambition, and resolve paved the road to the imperial palace. But it is honor, diligence, and respect that keeps one there. My people respect and care for me, because I do the same for them. Yet above all, I hold the virtue and dignity of Rome herself most dear. Her prestige grew once more when I incorporated Nabatia as her newest province, but recently came under attack from a predictable direction. For decades, an uneasy peace between Rome and rival Parthia was hallowed by joint influence over Armenia, a state that served as little more than a buffer to defuse tensions. Now, the Parthian king, Osros, has broken this agreement and seized the land for his own. The Parthian army is formidable. But I did not become emperor by building shields after arrows were shot my way. The frontier legions are clamoring for action. And it is about time that we put our nefarious eastern neighbor in its place. Alright, so I've just had to restart this one. Turns out, Parthians are strong. Good to learn. Then we shall crush Parthia together. From what I can tell, you can do infantry up until a certain point. Armenia is ours now. I will deal with you Romans soon. We must be cautious. Mountainous Armenian landscape houses many dangers. I tried using the heavy catapults before didn't work in the slightest. I don't know how scythe chariots would do again. Um, I think ballista is actually better here. Your continued success brings joy to my heart. 
really get you with some more. I need heavy catapult. Uh, no, just regular catapult, actually. That'd probably be quite useful for... Get one more fishing ship from that. and something else. That's the way to go here. I wonder if we can try Heliopolis plus uh, Centurion. Or Centurion uh, Legionary. It revives one missing Iron Shield. It makes sense though, it's you know, Iron Age technology. <laughs> Satisfied than scorpions, even though they only attack. Uh, the one unit. Centuries ago, but I cannot recall his name. Hmm. So many range units. I didn't think the Persians had particularly good modern cavalry archer. Nice. Also, now there's no Armenian sib, I feel almost a little strange about them being Persian sib here. I guess it's because they've also been taken over by the Parthian Empire though, so... Sort of makes sense. Gone. Well it's so much more micro than you have in here. Make sure you don't end up accidentally killing half a dozen of your own units.
but they are far better than the regular star uh, buildings. I think Heliopolis. Legionary is definitely the way to go. I tried playing really heavy into the Legionaries before, but they're not good against the Anaphract or the Horse Archers. Which sort of makes sense. I think it's fish traps in the end of yet. this point. Hopefully we make them target these. Uh, let's build some extra town centers everywhere. Let's forget how quickly TC's build it. And maybe one in return of room. Ah, oh, both of the sea drop shops are really far away. Alright, for now, let's make a little bit of an outpost. I'm not necessarily making a lot of TCs to have a huge number of villages. Just to have multiple areas where I can uh, pull back to if needed. Uh, 
We already have some monks. Oh, is that healing rate? You can also heal your um, siege weapons, which sounds kind of strange. If you've uh, already ever played AoE 1 or even AoE 2. Well, I think. Uh, even AoE 3. I think in AoE 3 you're actually able to heal them. Logistics is already in. I don't know if Ballistics Im impacts Ballistas in this game. I feel like it probably would. Considering that Romans in AoE 2 now have access to Ballistics on their Scorpions. I see if we can aggro an army. I need some cavalry for that. Really not working as planned. What is this conversion time? Stop trying to come up here. I don't think ballistics and max them. Try and delay this a little bit. Right, right. And I'm not Parthian. We may have been friends, but fate delights in setting ambitious men at each other's throats. Really wish that there was a higher pop limit for some of these missions. Oh, it's not lasting really as long as I'm hoping it's going to. That is so little damage. That's actually embarrassing. Oh, uh, where's the market? I'm just gonna delete the markets up here. Four sergeants are so bad to deal with the war rounds. Even an access to guard tower wouldn't be too bad. I think we have to try scythe chariots and see if 
Did they do the trick here? Tower shields. No, I didn't get tower shields. Wow. No, I expect that to, to be doing so much damage with that in. Buy a hundred and get that in. But I think the plan here is we get some cheering. I need a couple of huge workshops. Well, try and get an army of Heliopolis. See where we go from that. Enough! You Romans bleed our four realms dry. The Parthians will treat us better. All right, head sending down here. Faithless allies, Emperor, help me teach them a lesson. We can haul these back with the walls and the Heliopolis. I think we have a chance of being okay though. So they blue the slides that they want to... Uh... Why attack me there? I don't really have a whole lot defending at the moment. Alright, and then we need to start saving for that as well. Okay, so we only have five more units anyway. to defend them. I absolutely I can't explain how much I love this unit. Probably should not love that. It'll be fine. Okay, okay. There's some more gold somewhere. Probably not the safest spot to be taking it. But... Oh. 
I don't like him water calling at the moment. You will not it. Oh, no. Uh, probably to me on three villages in general. The only problem is that the Heliopolis isn't particularly great against the catapult. It's not hardly awful either, but not what I would call a reliable counter. I was really enjoying getting the stone from the Vartia. The Vaisha. I don't quite know how it's meant to be, so. Alright, so the chariots will be really bad against the force arch as well as the things, so they have no pierce armor. That's why we have a whole bunch of Heliopolis, so I guess. Basically, only a couple more bills. Fighting way too much res. <laughs> I take back everything I said about these not being good against buildings. Oh my god. Oh. I had so many of them there. Okay, auto reseed on. Losses, though. I need some close uh, siege workshops as well. Anyway, yeah, nothing that's useful. Downside to using the scythe turrets is that you can't make nearly as many of them. Oh, 
As uh, might benefit from logistics. the whole slot is out of me closing and lowering she's got out of front just so strong they don't seem to have particularly limited resources for it either Too out range, doesn't feel like a particular trade. It must have infinite res, because no way in hell they should better sustain this production. Especially though they're similar pop limit as me. Perfect micro. Best units we make will be quite long. Or even just good micro. Once we open the run, and then snipe the siege with the chariots more easily. I like the healing range in A1 is really small. They do have an economy, wow. Oh, 
Ich bin jetzt mit Wandel weg. Also, das haben wir nicht sogar. Okay, so Heliopolis, OP. Look how chill they are, and it's like, yep. These Parthian armies beat us. Shall we push for the east? You have no power. <laughs> oh boy, that was fun. Despite my hostility towards Parthia, it pains me to fight Osros. His skill as a commander would be the envy of any leader. Yet the discord tormenting his realm overshadows his talents. As he struggles in vain to stave off my invasion, he does so with one hand tied behind his back. I see much of myself in him, and he offers a haunting glimpse into an alternate reality where I was born in the wrong place at the wrong time. Seizing Armenia was an ambitious move. One could argue that it was an overstep. But did I not do the same from another point of view when I took Dacia and Nabatia? I am no warmonger, and I have never loved it. But I cannot lie. On the battlefield, the anxieties of governance fade into the shadows as the simplicities of present survival come to the fore. Life just makes sense out here. And that is a notion that terrifies me. Am I a hero or a monster? A genius or a madman? Sometimes the sole difference is success. Pages of history are littered with brilliant victors and foolish losers. But foolish victors and brilliant losers are in much more exclusive company. I am not so arrogant as to call myself brilliant. Others can do that for me if they deem it just. But I am no fool. And my instincts have been sharpened by decades of fighting. When a shark smells blood in the water, it attacks mercilessly. When news reached me of the civil war in Parthia, I resolved to do the same. A pang of pity for Osros struck me as I recalled the strife of my youth. But now that fortune has given me a chance to put a decisive end to an age-old rivalry, I cannot hesitate. Rome knows two great seas today, but tomorrow it will know a third. We will seize Tessiphon, the jewel of Parthia, and stride onwards in the footsteps of Alexander until my legions glimpse the ocean. If I succeed, I hope that history will remember Osros as a brilliant loser. But how will I be remembered? How will Hadrian? How will Rome? All right, round two. <laughs> okay, a hundred population. I will lead my forces down the Tigris and we shall meet by the sea. We are deep in it. Must seize a forward base from the party. Oh my God, they're missing. I think I used to watch This Parthian town is ours. We can set up camp here. 
but we will have to seize more towns to access more types of weapons. I'll work out if it's flat. Yeah, Getting Legion just yet. I think I'm already in production. This is as fine a foothold as any. Uh, we will avenge two more. More ballista again. I think ballistics must impact them. Really should try and take these. I think I want to start going over here, although it's not a calibre. And then eventually that as well. I get urbanization. So you don't have to continuously be building houses. Same technology. Like wheel barrow is great in AOE2, but there's nothing quite like wheel. Other hot plates kind of cavalry, but I don't know if. Uh, Centurion counters cataphracts properly. Such an insane unit. Gain idols is not ideal. Very much not ideal. Our newest acquisition specializes in cavalry. Let us feed our Oh, I didn't realize I can even build stables to build. Might let them capture that because I don't need archery range. I don't want to make sure that the ally can also be. There's a mark, is it? Went from not enough on wood to probably too many to go. Probably would have been good to do. Oh, never mind. I was thinking C trade would be great here, but I don't think you can actually access it from here. Alright, I don't want to make two more builds. 
What's taking so long to get this down? That's just like an early granary. I am a little bit surprised that Heliopolis doesn't have a gold cost, considering how good of a unit it is. Didn't they actually increase the cost of it? Did a video a bit of a deep dive when first got access to return of Rome. Parthian arrows have felled many a Roman. Now we will use archers of our own. Yeah, no. <laughs> not Roman archers. I didn't really think of that yet. Alright. I get a good mass of the list to go. I also get. Monastery and make a mo couple of marks. The last time you faced arrow for the Romans, now the full might of Parthia descends upon you. Let them take the initial. Thanks. Well, they don't even have a lead or what's it called in this guy? We've all saw it, <laughs> Still better than everyone's pathfinding, but uh, a little bit questionable to the least. I need to get some more backs. And then 
got a couple of these. We don't need those balloons anymore. I'm sure I'm not. Well, I'm sure. I keep saying that. Legionary. So it's a little surprising that you don't actually have a ram as an option. You know, well, considering that they are been used for centuries. Maybe they weren't used in antiquity or something. Overlooking. Feel the power of the Parthian shot. I'm very nervous about Parthians and Corals accidentally firing on my stuff. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a big face behind this somewhere. These towers being all them is that uh, makes it much harder to select them. will tell children of the age of Trajan, the emperor who found Rome a city of marble and left it one of 
God. Ironic, then, that I have no children of my own to tell this tale. I have a loving wife, but in truth, Rome herself has always been the love of my life. Perhaps the gods, in their infinite wisdom, deemed the care of children too much for a man who chose an entire empire as his family. Perhaps, as I lie on my deathbed, they are indirectly showing me the way. For years, Rome suffered under the yoke of cruel emperors with no merit other than their bloodline. Like Nerva, I will now choose my successor by merit. And what better choice than Hadrian, the loyal man who walked in my footsteps, learned from my example, and did it all without a single treacherous thought. The afterlife is timeless, immaterial, and boundless. I gaze towards the men tending my funeral pyre and hear them now call me a god. I look out over the forum that I build, the carved column that tells my story, and the city that is an empire's beating heart. I smile knowing that I have left these people a better Rome than the one that I found. Yet, at the same time, doubt and dread gnaw at me. Now that I have raised the bar, others will try and match it, and their vain ambition, conceit, and impossible expectations could drag Rome towards the same familiar decline from which I rescued it. Was I Rome's savior? or it's doom. I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough of the charging campaign, because I certainly did. Like and subscribe to see more, and I'll see you soon with another video.